It was history too with Mr. Kerr. The Americans, Chapter 19, Section 1. World War I begins. Before you read, in the last section, you learned how Presidents Roosevelt and Wilson used American power around the world. In this section, you will read how war broke out in Europe while the United States tried to remain neutral. Causes of World War I What conditions led to war? Four main factors led to the outbreak of World War I in Europe. The first was nationalism, the belief that the interests of a single country were more important than cooperation among countries. This led to competition. The second cause was imperialism. Countries tried to increase the power and influence around the world. This led to conflicts among them. The third main cause was militarism. Militarism meant building up armies, navies, and other armed forces. It also meant using them as a tool for negotiating with other countries. The fourth cause was the alliance system. Some countries in Europe had made treaties promising to defend each other. These mutual defense treaties placed European countries in two main groups. The Allies were made up of France, Great Britain, and Russia. The Central Powers were made up of Germany, Austria-Hungary, and the Ottoman Empire. Question 1. Name two causes of World War I. An assassination leads to war. What sparked the war? In 1914, Archduke Franz Ferdinand was assassinated. He had been the heir to the throne of Austria-Hungary. His killer was a Serb who wanted to unite all Serbs, including those in Austria-Hungary, under one government. This touched off an action to punish Serbia. The alliance system pulled one nation after another into the conflict. If a nation had sworn to protect another, it had to declare war on that nation's enemies. Germany and Austria-Hungary were facing France, Great Britain, and Russia. Question 2. Why did the assassination lead to fighting? The fighting starts. Where did the fighting begin? Germany began by invading Belgium. It planned to overrun France and then to attack Russia. The British and French could not save Belgium. They did, however, manage to stop Germany's advance. By the spring of 1915, two lines of deep trenches had developed in France. Germans occupied one line. The Allies occupied the other line. Between the two lines lay no man's land. The soldiers would climb out of their trenches and try to overrun enemy lines. They did this while facing machine gun fire and poison gas. This bloody trench warfare continued for more than three years. Neither side gained territory, but more than one million soldiers died. Question 3. Why did the fighting take place in France? Americans question neutrality. How did Americans feel? In the United States, Public opinion about the war was strong but divided. Socialists saw the war as an imperialist struggle between German and English businessmen. Pacifists 
believed that all wars were bad. They urged the United States to set an example for peace. Many other Americans simply did not want to send their sons to war. Many naturalized U.S. citizens still had ties to the countries they came from. Many immigrants from Germany, for example, sympathized with Germany. Americans tended to sympathize with Great Britain and France. They shared a common language and heritage with Britain. They were horrified at Germany's brutal attack on Belgium. And they had strong economic ties with the Allies. Question 4. What were three things that influenced Americans' feelings about the war? The war hits home. How did the war affect Americans? The war affected American shipping. Great Britain set up a blockade along the German coast to keep goods from getting through. American ships would not challenge Britain's blockade. German U-boats attacked ships from all nations. A U-boat sank the British ship Lusitania, killing more than a thousand people, including 128 Americans. Question 5. In what ways did the war affect American citizens? The United States declares war. Why did the U.S. join the war? Three incidents brought the United States into the war. First, in January 1917, Germany announced it would sink all ships in British waters on sight, whether they were hostile or neutral. Second, British agents intercepted the Zimmermann note, a telegram that proposed an alliance between Germany and Mexico against the United States. Third, the replacement of the Russian monarchy with a representative government allowed Americans to characterize the war as a struggle of democracies against brutal monarchies. On April 6, 1917, at President Wilson's request, Congress declared war on Germany. Question 6. What are the three incidents that led the United States to declare war? <laughs>